back in the locker room. Touch and Wolf, our recruiting special. And joining us, uh, our old buddy, former Penn State captain and uh, Baltimore and Indianapolis coach, Leo Wisniewski, who happens to be the offensive line coach of uh, at Geneva right now. Wiz, thanks for joining us, buddy. So sure thing, buddy. Good to be here. I like this because now you've come from the dark side to, <laughs> to the light. Side. Yeah, the yeah, light. Now's an offensive line. line. Yeah. yeah, I like that. Well, you know, I've got so many buddies who are offensive <laughs> line guys that I figured it just made sense. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I got my brother Steve. I got right. you two. I got Mike Munchak right. with the Titans. I got offensive line guys. You know, not to mention your come, son. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's right. He's uh, probably going to be an offensive lineman. Oh yeah, he's, he's intelligent. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's going to play old line. Of course, all, only the bright guys play offensive Absolutely. line. Not the, you know. Of course, uh, that's right. See, I can't, I can't <laughs> use my standard lines about only the athletically limited guys playing offensive <laughs> line. Now that my boy's going to be an old lineman in college. Uh, Leo, you were a, a very highly recruited uh, player coming out of Fox, Fox Chapel High School, Stanford, Notre Dame, all the biggies, and you chose uh, Penn State. And we asked the same thing to Gatouche. Was that a uh, was that a tough decision for you? Was was it a tough time, or was it kind of fun? It was really fun. I, I mean, you guys know me. I'm pretty extroverted. No, and, not you. Uh, and so, uh, you know, I loved meeting, you know, new staffs, uh, asking lots of questions. I loved meeting the guys from different programs and having fun with them. And uh, it's been kind of funny going through the process with my son, Stefan, because Steph is, is much more introverted. Um, he you know, wasn't very engaging kind of, you know, with, with coaches typically. And uh, he was just very happy the process was over when he made his decision. Uh, he didn't take all his visits. I took all of mine plus like four extra <laughs> visits. <laughs> so, you know, it couldn't have been more different, you yeah. know, his experience than my, than from my experience. How was it seeing it happen through your eyes versus as being the player, watching your son go through this? Um, I, I guess you, you're a little more reflective. You know, you... Um, you're able to ask questions kind of in the midst of the process about the sincerity maybe of what coaches are conveying to your son. Um, and then uh, when I had my chance to ask some direct questions, uh, I did. Uh, and Steph, I think, appreciated that because we'd always talk about it before we'd go on a visit. And um, I think he liked the fact that I was pretty comfortable to be able to ask some hard questions uh, of not only the head coaches, but some of the assistants. Now, was there, you, you know, you, you went through it, and, and Steph was one of those guys that everybody wanted. You know, Gattuse had a lot of interest. You yourself did. Now you're at, at Geneva College, and you're kind of at the other end of the spectrum now. Uh, what are, what are you doing to, to 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 grab? I mean, what is your sales pitch? I guess is the question I, I want to ask. Yeah. Well, the Division Three level, uh, Geneva is moving from the NAIA this year to NCAA Division Three right. uh, for the start of uh, 2007, and um, so we don't have any athletic grant aid money uh, to offer. We did for years um, in the NAIA, but what most people don't know is the average athletic grant that that we would give and most NAIA schools would give is probably only about $5,000. Um, and even now at the Division II level, the average grant, athletic grant, uh, is about $2,500. So the notion that even at the Division II level or the NAIA level that uh, athletic scholarships mean you get a full grant and aid, that, that's very, very rare. Um, but it is different uh, coming now into Division Three. Uh, in the recruiting process, you've, you've really got to sell the school uh, academically, you know, how to differentiate um, your school from others, and then, and then the quality of the program. I mean, um, Gino has been uh, at Geneva for 14 seasons and done a great job there. Um, he's developed a great relationship with his players. I don't think there's a day goes by when I'm with him that he doesn't get a call on his cell from a former player, you know, saying, Coach, you know, could you help, you know, make a phone call for me? Or, you know, uh, our third child, you know, was just born, a little boy, and he celebrates that with him. That just happened last week, you know. So it's Gino's, I think, charisma, 
his commitment to the players that has really made the program what it is now. Um, and then you try and uh, emphasize uh, what maybe uh, I bring individually, um, especially as I'm recruiting linemen, uh, D-line and O-linemen, and uh, I have the chance to spearhead the off-season strength and conditioning program. Uh, not that I'm uh, any guru, but I've got some really smart buddies like Tommy Mislinski, <laughs> and and I borrow from a, you know a lot of what they do. And and uh, when you copycat, that's kind of the greatest compliment I think uh, you can do in coaching of any kind. Seems like the number one ticket would be an all-you-can-eat buffet. Yeah. I mean, oh, that, yeah. You get, you get some, yeah. yeah. You get some good well, discussions. Well, I, going I that. eat with all our recruits <laughs> at the calf, Wolf, and you'd be proud of my work there. <laughs> that a boy. Wizard, how do these players get highlighted and come across your desk? What 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 steps? What what processes occur to get these players that that you would take a look at them? Sure. Um, well, Joe Butler's Metro Index, you know, is uh, has been a great source um, of players and, and kind of fitting players, whether they're Division One, II, Division Two, II, or, or probably Division Three level guys. Uh, we will go after Division II level caliber athletes, but when it's early and 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 December is early for Division II and Division Three at the Division One level. They're starting the recruiting process at, at the end of the sophomore year. They recruit heavily in the junior year. Wow. Uh, but at the Division II and three level, we're kind of much later. In fact, Division II uh, schools aren't really offering kids uh, athletic grant money until late December, early January. And then those kids who are believing they're going to get some of those offers, they're holding on and then – Late January, early February, they may become convinced that they're more of a Division Three level player, and then they're they're more apt to look at us seriously. So some of the better kids athletically, if we're out there making contact, saying, "Hey, you know, uh, keep us in the back of your mind. If things don't work out the way you want them to, we'd love to have an opportunity to get you on campus and uh, show you what we're about." So for us. It, the process drags on much longer. You, you, you know, you heard Gattus, uh, Greg Gattuso talk about um, highlight films and kind of the recruiting process. How much, you know, obviously you guys don't have a recru or <laughs> much of a recruiting budget like, a, like the bigger schools do. Sure. How, uh, how much of it uh, is it word of mouth or guys coming to you? Well, uh, you, you, you still have to be out there and beat the bushes. Um, there's, I mean, you got to be in the schools, meeting kids, uh, telling your story, and and trying to get them on campus. I mean, there's no substitute really for that. And um, while you might be able to make a contact at a at a Metro Index type of camp, uh, you're not going to really be able to differentiate yourself in that kind of environment. So, we've got to have our staff out in the schools and, and telling our story. And then if we get them on campus, we think that's where our players um, and faculty members who are a part of the process can, can really help to uh, show how we're, how we're a little different. Wiz, thanks for joining us. Uh, best of luck as you recruit further for, uh, for Geneva. And uh, we appreciate your time. And congratulations to Steph. That's great thanks stuff, a lot, guys. By the way, can you any help when you do the buffet thing? You know, That's give me a call. We'll, we'll, we'll glad to jump in with you. We'll always available for lunch. <laughs> we'll take you up on it. You love the ice cream. Oh, oh wow. I like that. Uh, we have more on our recruiting special right here in the locker room. Hi, I'm Coach Bob Falco from West Allegheny. For the best in high school sports, come into the locker room with Tons and Wolves.